This is my Leica M2, and this is the digital sensor I installed in my Leica M2. This system, which I'm calling MPi because of the Raspberry Pi Zero inside, is a minimal digital back. It has an LCD module, but the main module is the Raspberry Pi high quality camera module, which is quite a bit larger than the original Raspberry Pi camera module, but is still quite a bit smaller than full frame and even smaller than APS-C. So the crop factor is around five to five and a half times. I've been using this 12 millimeter Voigtlander, which turns in around the 60 millimeter and the result is a bit wider than the 75 millimeter frame lines on the M2. Uh, I wanted the affordances and usability to stay the same as the original camera. There have been other projects that use Raspberry Pis and camera modules and film cameras, but they mostly seem like nice aesthetic housings for a mostly digital camera. So it is rangefinder coupled. Uh, inside, the sensor is mounted on spring mount screws that let me adjust the flange distance, so the distance to where the film plane would be. So if it's focused in the rangefinder, it'll be focused uh, on the sensor. I did have to remove the anti-aliasing filter or else it would get caught on this cloth shutter. Um, so this is mostly monochrome and natural light. Uh, photos under artificial lighting like subways or street lamps can be corrected with white balance. Uh, it was a trade-off between taking photos in color or having the rangefinder coupling and I mostly shoot black and white, especially on film anyways, um, so it was an obvious choice for me. Uh, the other affordance is the mechanical shutter, which is coupled to the electronic shutter on the Raspberry Pi. So for this, I'm using this cable to the uh, flash sync socket. So to demonstrate with a multimeter and continuity checking. So if we probe this center pin over here and ground, which is just any point on the camera body, pressing down the shutter will close that circuit. And I'm using that as a signal to tell the Raspberry Pi to begin an exposure with the electronic shutter. Now there is a delay between when the signal is sent by that closing of the circuit and when the Raspberry Pi starts uh, the exposure with the electronic shutter. So how the exposure works is I set the uh, Leica to bulb, um, take a picture and hold it down for about a second uh, to let the Raspberry Pi catch up and actually take the exposure. So the exposure is totally controlled by the electronic shutter and I'm currently using the directional pad to select shutter speeds. So right is 1 over 1000, down is 1 over 250, left is 1 over 60, and up is 1 over 15. I was planning to use the LCD for image playback, but I kind of like having the affordance of not being able to look at anything on the back of the camera, nothing to distract me. Um, this is totally reversible, so first I remove the cables to the flash sync socket. Then I take the base plate off, and then the module just pops out like that. So you can see the, the spring mounts in there. This is the high quality camera module. I had to file down a bit of the uh, top of the board. Uh, thankfully there were no components there for it to fit. Um, and set that aside. I can just place in the original M2 film door and use it just like how it was designed.